Even though we have to stay home right now because of the coronavirus, we can still use our imagination to travel to places far away from us. What is it like in other parts of the world? Today, we are traveling to Iceland. If you look on the map, Iceland is the red mark on t- in the northern part of Europe, and California is the green dot. So we would have to take an airplane or a boat to get all the way to Iceland. Iceland is covered by ice, volcanoes, glaciers, and geysers. There are many waterfalls and hot springs and mud pools where the heat of the earth comes out from the earth's surface. A volcano is a mountain where hot liquid rock called lava comes from a magna chamber under the ground. A glacier is a mountain or hill made from ice. Very slippery. These are people hiking on a glacier. And now they're inside a cave made of all of ice. You can see the magical northern lights that happen between November and March. Can you imagine living in this cave house? Iceland is home to many animals like the seabird puffins and the arctic fox that is camouflaged to its environment, meaning it blends in, and the reindeer. We are going to make Iceland in a box. So you can find a shoe box or any box of cardboard in your house. Be creative and find materials around your house that you could use for mountains and volcanoes, glaciers and ice or snow. Be sure to have lots of tape and scissors. You can start by taking a white piece of paper and drawing the landscape of Iceland in the pictures that you've seen here. This is the town, the capital of Iceland, and I drew a similar picture to be put in the back of my shoebox. And next I'm gonna make the floor. There's lots of ice in, in Iceland, so I took a plastic bag to make the floor. And I'm making a mountain with some paper, a volcano with some uh, more paper and objects that I found around the house. Yours may be different. Be creative and see what you can use. The people that live in Iceland are called Icelanders. And there's a traditional clothes of uh, Iceland that reflect their heritage and traditions of their country. So many of their clothes were handmade and woven with wool, which comes from the hair of sheep. And it's, it's used because it's very warm. So you can go ahead and color them in and cut them out and dress them on your Icelanders.